There are some very committed leakers in this White House, very committed to their craft. <laughs> and skilled. This White House seems to leak a lot more than most. I mean, all White Houses leak, but this seems... It's not even close, apparently. What does that say, do you think? Uh, I think it says quite a few things, but I, I think it starts with the President of the United States, who has a very freewheeling relationship with the media. He kind of enjoys people talking about him, and I think that kind of diffuses down. The other thing is truly, like, there is a kill or be killed feeling in there, and the reality is, all of them know that if they're not talking, someone else is going to be talking and telling their story. And so a lot of it's just defensive. Shape your own narrative. Shape your own before someone. For you. Exactly. By design, things are chaotic, and that's the way the president likes it. And yet the ecosystem around Trump is pretty coordinated. You got the Freedom Caucus, you got Fox and Fox News, you got other allies out there who are echoing a pretty effective message. I don't know if that's because the White House has a perfectly fine tuned. Um, surrogates operation. I actually tend to think it's more because these people all know each other very well. Whether it's Mark Meadows or Devin Nunes, they know the Fox hosts, the Fox hosts know each other, the Fox hosts know Trump, Don Jr. knows Hannity, Hannity talks to Trump, and it's just this constant circle. And frankly, there's a lot of people in the White House who are sort of, ob not oblivious to it, but it's, it's a bit of a mystery to them. So you've got this kind of very high yes. level circle yes. of people talking. And, and often, These people often don't know what's going well, on. It is a very, uh, I don't want to say coordinated because I don't think it's actually that professional or conventional, but in a way it actually is very, very tight and coordinated and, uh, and, effective. and effective. One thing that has been effective with Trump and his allies is a narrative about the deep state, about the Mueller investigation, it's all conspiracy. That's actually been, I mean, they've got 40% plus of the country believing that. The strategy with Mueller has really ramped up. The basic legal strategy underpinning it has never changed, but the PR and media strategy has changed dramatically. Like Rudy Giuliani is not there for his legal skills. He's there to smear Mueller and the whole investigation. I would say the combination of him plus certain uh, conservative hosts on TV plus certain people on Capitol Hill is creating a partisan polarization of this issue. And so I believe that if Mueller actually does find something that's of real danger and peril to the presidency, the conservative movement, which has basically been co-opted by Trump, will rally around him and go after Mueller in a very, very aggressive fashion.